Hello friends, this is McBirdie and welcome to my let's play of Oxenfree. It's this newish indie game that I found on Steam that had really good reviews and a really cool style. Now this is supposed to be somewhat of a horror game, but I'm hoping it's not too scary because I don't tend to play super scary games really well, but it's supposed to be an adventure game. So I'm really looking forward to it just based on the trailer I watched. It looked really interesting and the play style looked really unique as well. So why don't we begin? Okay, and I'm just gonna check my options, make sure. Okay, we're still good. All right, let's see what this, where this takes us. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Interesting introduction. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. <laughs> something, something, something cookies? Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. 8 p.m. So you um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? A stepbrother. Brother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. <laughs> no, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. That's good. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. <laughs> I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. <laughs> yep, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> And if you picked up a complimentary disposable I'll leave that. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their... Fine, just hold the camera out, like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. <laughs> it's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. I'm coming, I'm coming. Pose for a picture. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Okay, I'm hitting space. Are we good? There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Gee, thanks. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Shift. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like... Basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Okay. You're studying the 
It's uh to the left of the dial. Working on Which it. I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. We'll see what? Sorry I'm not talking that much, guys. I just, there's so much dialogue in this game that I don't want to interrupt it. Oh, that's a cute picture. See what a cute little style this is. I don't know. This game Still seems pretty clean neat. Air, boys and girls, boy and girl, this ain't city living. Yeah. Um. Anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh. Uh. No thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing. So. Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. No. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh. Uh. No thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case. Whatever. Okay. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Aww. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail. Oh. Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay, so can I can I move now? Okay, cool. Like now that I can talk, um this so far is a really nice looking game. Like this is really neat. I guess it's a it looks like a 3D style, but, you know, with 2D gameplay, so... But the lighting and, like, just the style is, like, super cute, and I... That's a... This is really amazingly done. Whoops! I keep forgetting that I can do that. My bad. Wrong button. Okay, well, let's see what's up with the store. Oop! Why do I keep doing that? So, can I do something here? It's kind of kitschy. 
Oh, right. It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. It's like a quiche, really? Okay. What's over here? Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. You're a great conversationalist. Let's see. Oh, here's a car. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. That, I think that's kind of true. Let's see, so we can go up these stairs, right? Oh, this is so pretty. I can't believe this is supposed to be a scary game. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some <laughs> submarine that was sunk off the coast. I'm looking the wrong oh, way. The, uh, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Sure. Uh, okay. Sure. I think they said it's 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28th, anyway. It was sunk, but. Oh, okay, that's it? All right. Interesting. Oh, so there's going to be sites where we can actually use the radio to learn more about the island. That's pretty neat. Let's go this way. What's over here? Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, <laughs> all right. You're so good at conversations. I like this girl. Plus, she has, like, this blue-green hair, which is really awesome. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Okay. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We okay. are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that he used to get over there, but I'm... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but it was telling me to hit control. Okay, so I guess control is just the map, so I know where we are. That's neat. Blanking on what it was, but it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The okay. town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alec... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... Oh, God. I'm sorry. Well, let's try it. Sorry. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. No. But maybe the fact that I brought a whole crap ton of drugs will. Oh, oh boy. Well, yeah, that'll do it then. <laughs> of course you did. I've been looking forward to this for a really long time, and I'm not leaving the fun part of this to chance. That's all. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave. <laughs> you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to get. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. <laughs> Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like... Okay, I think they'll continue conversation. Or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. 
Okay, I'm assuming the conversation will keep going. So I don't think I skipped anything. Because anytime they stop talking all of a sudden, I'm scared I interrupt them. But I think the game is intuitive enough that he goes back over information if he thinks we missed it. So that's pretty neat. I mean, so far, that's what I'm oh, guessing uh, it's doing. Before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl and I'm totally into her and I want her to be into me. So just, you know, j just be cool. OK, no pouting or complaining or anything. All right. Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just is... leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but- Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Here we go. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Why are you whoa, facing whoa, whoa. the other way? You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... Um, really? Uh, her mom is marrying <laughs> my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's What? The oh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? <laughs> I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I... Hey, what about me? What about you? Oh. I get it, I'm not even on the spectrum. Wow. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and- And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. Uh -oh. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we are gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Well, since they're stopped talking, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Um, I hope you guys are, so far are liking this. This is like brand new and I don't know exactly how this is going to turn out. But if you like the series, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and then if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel to get updates for our new episodes. Um, anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>